A new documentary puts a spotlight on the plight of Christians in the Middle East. The film follows one woman's journey in Iraq and Syria as she meets with people who have fled their ancient homeland. Absolutely heartbreaking. The documentary called Our Last Stand is filled with stories like these. The Assyrian American school teacher named Helma really felt compelled to tell the story of her people. And joining us now is the filmmaker. Thank you so much, Jordan Elliott, executive producer. We really appreciate you coming by. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, why now? You have made dozens of documentaries. Why this one? Well, I've been doing work over the last few years with a group called In Defense of Christians, which many of your viewers probably know. Yes. They advocate on behalf of Middle Eastern Christians here in the United States. And so I've been traveling in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, uh, Egypt, other places, and all the while filming and writing uh, articles and whatnot, thinking of the, the best way, the ideal way to tell the story to an American audience. And when I met Helma, who is an American, school teacher from New York, but her father is actually a Syriac Orthodox priest and came from Syria, I knew that she would be the perfect, the ideal bridge between that community and Americans. Because look at her here on the video. She is immersing herself in that culture and knows that culture very well. What do you, what do you think um, the reaction is going to be when Americans can really see what's happening here? It does help to see it and to hear it from the people who are the victims. And I think their reaction is going to be similar to what my reaction was, mm -hmm. twofold. First of all, surprise that there are that many Christians in this area of the world, uh, and a surprise about what's happening to them and why they haven't heard more about it. And secondly, of course, they're going to feel compelled, hopefully, to, to, to do, do something. do something. Exactly. Exactly, right. We always say, like, th there's so many different ways you can help. The only way you can't do anything is, is to just ignore the, right. the problem. Right. So you don't have to make a documentary. You don't have to advocate. But you can pray. You can ca call your member of Congress. There are a million ways to help. How, tell me, how were you able to get as close as you were? I mean, you were right in the action. That little boy sobbing, talking about Daesh or ISIS. Right. Well, I think it's because a lot of the Christians, whether in Iraq, Syria, elsewhere, they, they feel ignored. And so when you reach out to these groups that are helping them, they do want journalists and others to come and tell their story, especially in Syria. A lot of people think of the refugee camps in northern Iraq, but right. Syria is a whole nother, you know, a whole nother challenge. So when we met with the Syriac Military Council, for example, in, in northern Syria, they were very willing to take us around and show us everything they were doing because not many people had told their story on an international level. And to them, that meant, I guess, help. Jordan Allett, executive producer in Altum Productions, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Lauren.